Hello, everyone. Good Thursday morning. It is going to be a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. What are we supposed to be like 60 degrees today, Rachel? High 62. I have high expectations for some back porch sitting, looking oh, yeah. at the drained lake. There's not a lot of uh, clouds in the sky. It's nice and sunny. Yes. It's beautiful today. Um, I even have Birkenstocks on with no socks. What? I know. I know. I'm prepping. It's a little premature for some spring weather, but I'm going to take everything I get. Do it. I also painted my toenails last weekend, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. not looking too skanky. Beautiful. I offered to do Becca's, and she said no. Yeah. She if, said she was letting her toes breathe. If somebody offers to give me a pedicure, I will never turn it down. I'm licensed, too. See, the, what is she thinking? Well, here's the deal. So... Licensed is a relative term. So in <laughs> beauty school, you had to have X amount um, like signed off before you could graduate. And I hate feet. I mean, despise feet. Now, I love Chapman's. I could kiss his stinky blue cheese feet all day. Yes. But I hate normal feet. And so I forged their signature on every last one of them and never did one. It's true. Wow. Come take my license away. Come but take my license away. <laughs> I've never done, I, I think I've done two pedicures um, in my life at Sheer Structure because I was forced to, and it was on a little girl, and we soaked her toes and, like, painted them. So, you know, I, it's it's kind of like you learn all of the health yeah. stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. But anyway, so I, I offered to do Becca's, and Becca has, like, her big toes, her toenails, like, it almost could be an ingrown on her big toes, but uh -huh. not quite. Uh -huh. And so I like to make them real square, and she screams the whole time. But apparently that's what the professionals do. I mean, I am a professional. That's what the, the nail techs do, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyway, I am Anna Lamb, an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. This is Rachel uh, Webb. <laughs> well, sorry. I've had uh, three names by the time I was sorry. 25. So. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. It's not she your is fault. also an owner. <laughs> Hey, isn't your middle initial an L? No, it's an E. It's an E. It's an E. I've had lots of last names. I'm not ashamed. It's okay. fine. So sorry. It's fine. Becca's upstairs corralling the children so that hopefully today you whoa, all whoa, don't no, hear no, no, screaming. No, 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 She's relaxing on the couch because two of the children are asleep. Ugh. She has one infant, but she's actually working. So You've good done, for her. We've done all the hard work. So she doesn't have to uh, chase children that are trying to turn off lights and screaming. And oh, my gosh. Flinging ping pong balls everywhere. And and it was the MVP last Oh, it was. Last It live. was a definite another Prozac kind of day. Both of the <laughs> toddlers were not ready for their nap. Good Lord. <laughs> But I also um, just dropped some glass on the floor down here and tried to clean it up. So no barefoot children um, for a while. What did you break? It was one of those sublimated glass Not important. top things. Not important. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a lot going on on the table today. Anna. Yeah, there is. Um, this is not my usual. I, I usually would make this super pretty. But the fact of the matter is um, I was doing this as we were turning my mic on. Folks. Uh, anyway, so today I love plants. We all know I love plants. I am the best at keeping them alive among the three of us here at Oak and Lamb. Um, Becca likes to think she is, but she's actually really terrible at it. Um, so we are going to be doing a few little upcycled um, planters. And here's the deal. You can pretty much use anything for a planter. This is just a few little ideas on how to upscale like a normal terracotta pot. I love a terracotta pot, but I like a more aged vintage, vintage looking mm -hmm. one. Have you seen um, the ones on like Magnolia that kind of like are like a, they're like a dusty, creamy, browny color. It I'm going to try great. to achieve it today, guys. I've never tried it, so it could be a complete flop. Um, my methods that I'm thinking would work. If not, I'll just spray paint the thing at the end of it and call it a day. Um, and then we have got a copper jello mold. How cute yes. is that? So I have tons of jadeite and copper accents in my kitchen. Love copper. Um, and so I've also got, I wonder if I can, I don't have anything to connect. I, I made these two, um, shelves that go across my kitchen window that are just for plants and so I've got like jadeite and copper and stone Huge. and all these different plants and stuff in front of that that's actually where some of these are going to go. I need to come go. see it. It's I want to so come see cute. your kitchen. 
I made it the same time that I made my dish rack on the edge of the pantry that dad made me. Mm. So cute. I need to post that in the in the group. the group. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna make this into one. Um, this is a disco ball cup from the clearance section after New Year's Eve um, at Hobby Lobby. It originally was $4.99, original price. So then at 50% off, that'd be what, like $2.50 and then probably a dollar something. Anyway. Um, and I love the way we do discount math. Well, 50% off of $5 thing. is $2.50. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I then, like, the you know, it goes thing. to 60 and 70%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love cheap. that you are ridiculing math things. I said we. Yeah. I said we. Um, then, uh, some of y'all may have seen in Becky, was it a a Facebook she, we had done a thrifting something, um, and we're going to turn these into planters. Here's the deal, guys. I have at home spade drills, spade bits, and basically what that looks like, it has a middle, and then it goes, it kind of looks like a tulip, basically, and it's larger, so you can make larger holes. You can attach it to a drill press. Uh, you can do it with your normal drill. I metric epic womp womp today and did not bring that. We had two of these chairs and I was gonna try with one of our biggest bits to just do lots of holes, sand it out and show you all. Um, sorry about it. I will post it once I get it finished. It did not work. It cracked all the way down using that method. Oh no. Yeah, I had to throw that chair away. Well, but hey, it's good that you tried it because if anybody at home wanted don't to do try it, it. Don't do it that way. Get the bit. Um, okay. They also make a bit that's circular and I'm losing what it's actually called. Anyway, you could use them for um, doorknobs on doors. It's that kind of, that attaches to your drill uh -huh. and it's an actual circular uh, cutout thing. Anyway, so I was gonna cut that out and put this little tiny succulent down in it and we're going to do liming wax on it to make it a little aged. So cute. Um, I'll still do the liming wax if none of y'all have seen that on wood. Um, it's actually really cool. It makes it look vintage and not like this orangey grainy look. It still looks kind of, um, unfinished, yes. like unfinished wood, but it just takes the orangey out of it. Yes. Yeah. And, and it takes the shine out too. Yeah. So it's really cute. This is the table that came with the chair set, um, which I actually love as a pedestal, like a plant stand. Like, look how really cute, cute that would be if you really needed cute. some height in your arrangements. Um, so which one? Oh, well, I'll tell you, this is a trailing mistletoe cactus, and I don't actually think I'm going to plant it today. Um, I just had to have this guy. Look how beautiful she is. I do, I do love that. I need to name her. I, I've never had one of these, but it said low light, and I really don't have a lot of windows in my house, so that's good. Um, this one is called a... Uh, lipstick plant so if you google this when the blooms come out they like are like a pinky red and it like blooms out like a lipstick tube super cute and um, we'll probably end up putting this in our terracotta pot um this one is a mini white it says low light also i don't actually know but can are you overhead or forward facing i'll go overhead look how beautiful her veins are hang on something move the copper thing there we go. Look at that. Is that not oh gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love her. The detail on that. She's gorgeous. She is absolutely beautiful. And I don't have anything that's like a variegated detailed thing like this. So she's gonna end up going uh, probably in our little um, copper pot. And then if you all are terrible at plants like Becky is, succulents are a variation of a cactus. They are a cactus for all intents and purposes. But they're so, so, so cute. And you can cluster these together. They've got, oh my gosh, countless amounts. They have uh, like the donkey tails that like sprout out over. Mm -hmm. They have the- What are those um, beaded ones? That is a string I, of pearls. I love those. They have a string of pearls, but you can't find them really easily around uh. here. Um, they have the string of bananas. Have you ever seen those? I might have seen. The, they actually look like little tiny green bananas all oh, over them. Oh, yeah. Super cute. They have uh, the turtles. Have you seen the string of turtles? No. The back of them actually look like a turtle shell. Oh, it's I love little. So, they're so, so hard to kill, cute. too. I love They succulents. are. Um, so, I mean, more towards the summer, if y'all are interested in any more uh, flowery, anything like that, just let us know. It is one of my passions. I do love it. Um, I can try to 
collect things that are hard to kill because I know that is it Stacy that's really bad at plants too? Probably. I think Stacy and I don't know. There's a couple of people that plan about uh, plants not having what it takes to survive in their houses and stuff like that. Um, but I can come um, compose a list of hardy plants. You do still have to take care of them occasionally, guys. I can't just give you plants that you look at and pet one time a year. You still have to talk to them. Anyway, so what does everyone want to do first? Do you want to do the terracotta makeover or the liming wax on the wood? Or um, just go ahead, this one, let's just go ahead and do this one. This one's easy. Okay. So basically all I did was take this $4.99 jello mold. You've probably got, I'm not even gonna try to take that off. How do you, uh, what? How do you pour jello in it with holes in the bottom? I put the holes in it. Okay. I'm gonna explain that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> So, I was like, how in the world? Oh, God. So I, I bet a bunch of you all have these from your moms, your grandmothers, some of your own collections. They make every shape and size of these things. Fantastic. Um, but they don't have drain holes in it. So you can do one of two things. Plants do like drainage. You don't have to have drainage, but they do like it. If you did not want to put holes in the bottom of this, then you can put a few layers of rocks um, to, so that it doesn't sit in the wet. Um, if it's a larger pot, you can scrunch up um, water bottles and recycle those to put in the bottom and it just creates a place for it to drain so that the roots aren't sitting in it to rot. Now, if you do, and all I did was take, I mean, j don't do like massive drain holes in one this size because um, you don't want all of it to just seep out super, super fast. Um, so I took, hmm, what was this? A quarter inch drill bit. And I literally just drilled straight down in. Now, because it is metal, after I was done with that and flipped it over, it had all of these tiny little metal fragments that came off of it that were super sharp. So all I did was take um, some wire cutters nip off that extra that was around it. And then I took a sanding block. Um, Y'all know what a sanding block is, right? And typically I would use a metal file that I would have at home, but this is all we have here. Um, and I just sanded those rough edges. Now, this is also not going to scratch your surfaces um, or anything like that because if it doesn't have a drainage pot on the bottom, they make these fantastic cork discs. Um, I think this was $2 or something. miracle Grow has ones that are a little bit more expensive, but this was an off-brand. This is a six inch cork mat. You would just set that on top of it so that if any of the overflow, it absorbs into the cork. Um, Smart. And then also, if you put that on there, it's not gonna damage your table either. Um, so that is that. What I'm going to do, listen, I normally do not use gloves because I'm not that person. But my nail lady texted today and said that she was going to have to move our appointment out until after my uh, Florida trip because her mother passed away, which is terrible. Um, and so I don't want to ruin my fingernails since I have to last an extra week. <laughs> smart. That's yeah. Smart thinking. Yeah. Okay, so. I typically will just use the miracle Grow potting mix. This is what I always use. Um, I typically get the big, big bag of it. Guys, have you all purchased? Is she expensive? Freaking potting She's mix? She's expensive. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's dirt for crying out loud. <laughs> it's dirt. <laughs> it is expensive, but you have to have it. So what I will typically do is plant in this potting mix. If, fun fact, you have plants that have not made it, um, like Becca probably has a billion. Once that plant decomposes and it grinds back down into the dirt, that acts as a fertilizer because the nutrients from that plant are back in there. So you don't necessarily have to throw out your old plants. You can use that as new plant soil. So you don't have to purchase this expensive stuff. 
Now, the other thing is once your plant has been in that soil for a while, you're gonna need to add more nutrients. Um, they make um, miracle Grow packets. They're like these blue crystal things. There's tons of different um, organic ones, ones that don't have chemicals and stuff in it. And you just occasionally will refeed your soil because it's used all the nutrients that's in that soil from the beginning. Um, once your plant gets too big for your pot, put new soil in there. That kind of solves that problem for a little bit, but don't over fertilize your plants because it will fry them. It's kind of like over protonizing your hair. It gets too much in the hair follicle. Yeah. Yeah, we all totally know everything about that. Whatever. So you're so mean. <laughs> we're just gonna open this. <laughs> you were so mean. You literally bashed me all day I know. on Tuesday. <laughs> no, I deserve every last you bit do. of it. <laughs> every last bit of it. <laughs> And fun fact, I make, oh, I hate the way dirt smells this kind. Mm -hmm. I make Mark plant all of my plants at home. How does he do? Does he do the job? No, he does fantastic. I wouldn't ask him to do it. Mark, you got to be worse at your job. No. He, <laughs> he loves to work in the yard and do like physical He's labor like this. He's a little grandpa. He is a papaw. That's what they called him in high school was papaw. We already have bird feeders. That doesn't and, shock me. You know, it wouldn't be it. Mark is a little old soul. He really is. Um, so basically, just put some down in, create a hole in the middle. Plants are not quite as delicate as what everyone thinks they are. So you go in and just pull that guy straight out. I'm gonna now, make did an you absolute see what, mess. What Anna did? She's so used to doing this. She didn't. She was squeezing the pot and on all the sides. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I squeezed the pot to loosen it up. How neat. Okay. Now, when you go in, see how this is already formed and all of your um, roots, roots are kind of formed. You can just loosely break those up. Mm. It is gonna make an absolute mess. Don't worry, guys. I will because clean this up. You should be up. in your yard or something. Probably. You know, so. Or if you've got like a planting station. Oh yeah, we everyone has one of those. Well, I mean, why not? And then just put it down in. I love that plant. And then add some more up around the top. Don't add it so far up that it comes like all the way. I know some of y'all are having a coronary over the mess I'm making right now, but it's gonna be okay. Look how sticky cute she is. I love her. I feel like we should Where's Becca's name tag things? I feel like she whisked them away to her house. <gasps> All of them? I don't know that for certain, Becca, if you're listening. Also, if you're listening, um, Wilda needs some attention. Oh, yes, yeah, she if does. If you want to go water, Wilda. She definitely she, does. I went to water when I was vacuuming. I was literally over there vacuuming under her, and I was like, she oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, Wilda. You've seen better days, honey. We need to <laughs> leave and play some Mozart for her or something like that. <laughs> God love her. Becca's up there probably singing to her now. She <laughs> praying be. her back to life. She better be singing uh, <laughs> hymns. That's the only thing that's going to. Yeah, put that Shane and Shane hymn album on there. <laughs> uh, Jen says, my newest plant is a ZZ. I'm in love with her. Jen, I actually have a ZZ that I've had for probably about a year now. She is so hardy and they grow super fast. They need like no maintenance practically. Um, and they're so beautiful. That is definitely a good one for people that don't want one that is super, super, super high maintenance. Um, I've got mine. It's not even a ton of light where I have mine, honestly. Everyone has a planting station. Yeah, Grizel, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I really do want a planting station. Um, my house is not conducive to having the space for one, but. Okay, so she is finished. That one was crazy, stupid, easy. But I love the shiny pot. Super cute. It'll match your kitchen perfect. It will. It will. I'm going to set her over here for a second. Okay, this next one is just this one. Now, this is something. What plant was that one that you just potted? What was that called? one was the white, and I need to put this back in here so that I can remember. It's the mini white. Um, the Tonia Arg. I don't remember the. Uh, I need Nick. 
I by, need it's, Nick. Yeah, it's by Costa Nick. Ferns. I, I really don't. Ferns, I don't know. Brenda um, said, I really want a potting bench. Have your dad make us a plan. Okay, for so actually I have looked at potting benches um, because I do want one. I've got a perfect spot for it underneath my window outside. So I could technically get on that as one of our woodworking things. The thing is with that, that's going to have to be organic. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that, that, that one will not be alive, alive cuz it'll be it'll be way too involved. It'll probably be outside with a camera on a tripod. Yeah, it's got too yeah. much. I'm, yeah. I mean that will be a mess. Uh anyway, so now we're going to go on to this one. Now, quick quick uh Megan, I think she joined in late. She wants to know if you put anything under that pot to catch the drippage. Yes. So they are these cork I mats. I got you overhead now. Cork mats. They come in tons of different shapes and sizes. Ooh, I didn't see that one's yucky. Oh, well, you don't see them anyway. That one's yucky. Um, anyway, so they've got bigger ones. I think this may be the smallest one I've seen. Um, so if you're weird and don't like, for, well, not weird, but I'm kind of like this too. If you don't like for them to be seen underneath, you could technically go in. Our our crickets will cut cork, won't they? Not not that thick. Okay. Like super thin cork. Like a cork sheet. Anyway, you can take shears and trim this down so that it doesn't poke out too much uh, but I use these on a lot of my pots inside that don't have the the drain or the I'm tray. I'm gonna flip this to you. Do what? Pull, your, pull that table. You see the table? Better. There you go. Thank you. Yes. Okay. No one needs to see your feet for free around here. <laughs> God. You got to pay to see those piggies. <laughs> you are terrible. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Help her, Lord, forgive her. <laughs> Help her, Lord, forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I also just had a really great idea that I was thinking um, when we were doing this metal. If you, instead of going from the inside out, would... Um, turn it upside down and drill holes this way, all of your extra metal is going to be on the inside and you wouldn't even have to worry about clipping it off and filing it. So there you go. Um, I'm going to get a quarter inch. This is plastic. I'm assuming it's going to do okay. Now let me just tell you all this. This is not my style at all. This is a Rebecca Page Myers Oaks style. And she actually has two or three of these planters. Um, but hers actually have real glass on them. This is the kid-friendly version. Um, but I'm probably going to make her use this in her house somewhere. Maybe in Fallon's room since it's a succulent. She can have her first plant. She does love that. Anyways. She, she, is, she will keep that thing alive forever, too. I hope she does. So, really, I'm just going to go in and drill a couple holes. And see what it did. It just brought that plastic out but this one actually is super super smooth you're not gonna have to do anything to that um i'd probably just do three on this one and that's the thing also with succulents is you have to water them so infrequently that um it's not like you're going to be watering this thing every week and there's going to be tons of water coming out of this okay that one is done we are going to load it with some dirt. I may do this over the trash can um, where they can't actually see. You guys just fill fill the cup with dirt. Yeah, fill, it, fill it with dirt, guys. Fill the cup with dirt. I don't want to make as large of a mess as what I did a second ago. And I'm making one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Fallon's going to love this. She actually has a disco ball that she's wanting hung in her bedroom. Do you think that she would like the short ones or the tall ones? Short. Rachel. Actually, I wonder if I could do both. In that little hole. Um, like I'll split them up. I'm going to look and see what their root system is. Mm. How often do you water your succulents, Grizella wants to know. Um, you know, I really just kind of talk to mine and say... I, I mean, probably. Have you seen the TikToks of the time lapses of bottom watering? Because when I tell you, I've not bottom that it's watered. It's so I interesting to me. It's a time lapse. So if you guys don't know, they literally just take their plants, set them in a bowl, set them in a bowl of water. That's a huge thing. 
some some plants do not like to be top fed. You mean bottom fed? No, they don't like to be top, top fed. fed. Oh. So bottom feeding is the oh. thing. I've not started that. And it like that. soaks up what it needs. And then you can see literally the water line stop when your plant yes. is done. It's the neatest thing ever to watch. Okay. Do you, are you, are you overhead? I am now. Do you see how dry this root and dirt was compared to what this other one was? Um, that's what you do with succulents. It, they do, because it is a cactus, love dryness dryness now what i did was just split that right in half and um, that's okay yes and then did you ask him yeah for yeah his yeah permission? he consented okay he said it was fine okay <laughs> he said it was fine and then i'm gonna do the same thing with this one cat said God, now you have my undivided attention rach i'm sure that makes your day cat it does my day is never made is it because I, have... I don't have her attention because she's bored Probably. Okay. I mean, they're never bored when I go live. I know. But. So sorry, guys. Okay. And literally, just poke it down in there. And then, obviously, you'll water because that I'm going to rename. Dry. I'm going to retitle this video. Anything can be a planter. It honestly can. I mean, that's a cup Jello for mold, crying out loud. Cups. Chair. But look how cute she is. Let me, let me face you forward. Look, she's oh cute. Oh, my gosh. She, she's super cute. Oh, I my also gosh. love that this, the succulents are just a small shade off from each other. Yeah. A little different Well, shade and around. honestly, even some of the same style, like the same um, kind, are a little bit different. Super cute. Let me put some more dirt down in you. Go, you're dry. We'll take care of you. Don't worry, little guy. Okay, that one's done. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is what I hope to. Oh, I hope this isn't a big flop, guys. I really do. So I'm going for that rustic age terracotta pot. What I have done is gone ahead before because I wanted it to kind of dry and covered a terracotta pot with um, stain. And as soon as I get this on, I'll tell you what kind of stain. It is just the early American uh, Verathane wood stain. Uh, and I literally just took one of those like super cheap, nasty bristled brushes and painted her on real good and thick. So this is what a brand new one looks like. This is what it looks like after I have done the stain. I love her. Okay. So now I'm going to take liming wax. And those of you that have not used liming wax, because I had not before this, it is kind of like a paste, a wax, a paste, a wax. And it's originally formulated for wood, um, but in the crafting world, we've seen that it has tons and tons of purposes. It's so kind of like... Um that baking rub and soap. buff. It's yes. kind of like rub and buff. So yes. anything you use rub and buff on, you can pretty much use this stuff on. So what you're going to do is get a t-shirt, a towel, any, anything like that. Sounds so country. A towel. Towel. Um, and put some on and then just start buffing in. Is that your new Apple Watch you gave up your work computer to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Why did you want an Apple Watch all of a sudden? Um, I've always had an Apple Watch. Oh. But um, because I like to be able to get notifications about my kid. I can't live without my Apple Watch. Ever since old Tanner Bell got me my first one in, I think it was like. Wasn't that for Christmas or 2018, something? 2018. I've been absolutely hooked. I love her. And I've only had two. I had that one up until this, like, three, four months ago, and I bought a new one. <laughs> I had that one forever. Which, come on, guys. You j it tells time. You can text on it. You don't need to replace them that often. I actually don't you know? use all the features no, that I don't they either. have. Maybe if I forget my phone I'm on the toilet, I'll the look toilet. through there. <laughs> like, yeah, let's check my heart rate real quick or <laughs> something like that. But really, I mean, it's just handy to get your notification. Okay, so see how that has dulled it down. Now, what they do say is to let this dry. So I'm not going to touch it for a second. Um, can you see the variation with, like, the dark stain, the terracotta, and the white right now? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. Um, what I was going to show you was kind of inspiration pictures. 
Oh, yeah. See, um, just like that kind of dirty looking, because uh-huh. I don't necessarily love that super new uh-huh. look. Yeah. Um, these are Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. I like the little ridge right there. like the That little scallop. So, so cute. cute. So, as you can see, you can play around with this. I'm assuming that after this dries, that we'll buff a little bit of this white off. Then you could go back and pounce um, some more dirty brown or, like, paint on, too, just to, like, make it look a little bit more distressed. Just play around with it until it's the look that you actually want. But to go from that to that so far, it's not oh, even yeah. dried. I think this is so much more subtle, and it fits into my vibe of my kitchen mm -hmm. more. Some people, like uh, Becca's niece, Samantha, is, like, this wonderfully young, amazing girl who loves uh, earthy things and like records and you know that kind of vibe and this totally fits her house mm -hmm. it does not fit my house mm -hmm. this does anyway personal preference do what you want to do then let's see what this looks like on this wooden pedestal this says to go with the grain of the wood um it also said that if you're wanting it to be a little bit more um, noticeable, to gently buff the finish off. This is well made. I can't, re oh, there we go. This is well made. <laughs> uh, one of three for $8 at the uh, Carmen Knoxville. Just give her a, a light sanding I probably should try to get that off Ugh! why do they do that here we go sweet lord are you wanting to die a little bit right now do, do what you gotta do general rule of thumb sand with the grain too Nikki what? said, you ladies are my breakfast entertainment today. I'm having cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Oh, it's my favorite, Nikki. Strawberry banana yogurt and mm. a white mocha chocolate coffee. That sounds I mean, great. I feel like I'd eat every last bit of that. I, I also love cinnamon toast crunch. Okay, look how much just sending it even changed the tone of that. I mean, it was more this and not this, but I hate... Forgive me for all of you all that have traditional oak in your house. I had traditional oak floors and traditional oak cabinets for a very long time. They are not my preference. My mom and dad still have all traditional oak stuff and they love it. It is all preference. For whatever reason, our generation likes that faded, beat up look a little bit more. <laughs> Which I'm not sure what that says about us, but it's okay, fine. It makes me want to go to our Carm here. I've not been to our Carm in forever. Have you? No, no, I haven't. And see what else now, I can the, find. The person to ask is Memo B. Does you know, she go she, a lot? She frequents. She frequents all of that. Here's the thing. We went to the Knoxville ones thinking Knoxville is way, way, way larger than us. They would have a lot better option. They really don't. No. The one I went to absolutely didn't. They wanted $40 for a pair of shoes. Yeah, I'm not all about that. Me either. Okay, so once you have sanded, go back and get the extra off. See, that even made a big difference with that. It's still definitely orange, but... I feel like there are always tons and tons of like wood things, just random wood project things at um, flea markets and garage sales and all that kind of stuff. And I would never have purchased this chair and table. Yeah. What is, I mean, it's probably for dolls, right? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I used to love going garage sailing. Me and Mama B would go a lot. And then once again, put some on your rag, go with the grain. 
Um, I'll tell you this. I, we never did that at all. And then once some of my friends from um, the salon started going, uh, I would want to go, but they were always on the weekends when we were working. And so then I'm like, oh, yay, I'm off on Fridays now. I can go on Fridays. They start those things on Thursdays here in the South, guys. All the old people go and get all the good stuff on Thursday when all of us are still working. Our, uh, our yard sales, garage sales, are Thursdays and Fridays, not Saturdays. Thursdays and Fridays, no later than 7.30 a.m. You will have every old timer in town there. But do if they you do it and in March you? and you catch like one of the first sales of the year when everybody's been itching to get out of the house, <laughs> let me tell you guys, you're going to, you're going to, absolutely make bank okay our, our yard sale last year paid for my divorce okay <laughs> <laughs> okay it, we made bank yes <laughs> <laughs> thanks to everyone who donated anna becca thank you all for donating to the call. yeah 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 <laughs> lots of household mm -hmm. items <laughs> <laughs> hey you gotta oh, let me tell you Yard. There's a science behind. You can't just sit out on your porch on a Wednesday afternoon at four o'clock and expect people to come. You know, like there's a science behind it. You know, all good yard sellers know that you're not supposed to go yard selling on any day but Thursday and Friday. Exactly, Anna. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Saturdays, no. Everything's picked through. Everything's picked. Now you can go and you can find them, but you're gonna get like the crap. Listen, one of my very favorite clients. She's younger than me. Haley's probably 30 now, maybe a little bit younger than that. But um, she and her mom have always loved going yard selling. And I didn't know that about there because looking at her, you wouldn't think, oh, her, her clothes are yard sale clothes, you know. She came in this one time and um, she had on this pair of sweatpants that were like a cut off pair of sweatpants, but they're super like in style and trendy. She's like, yeah, I gave a quarter for these at the yard sale last week. I said, what? I gave a quarter, a quarter. for these. <laughs> I want to know how yard sale pricings are in places other than Tennessee. Mm, like, Kat, mm. do you have you yard sold in Michigan? Do they like skyrocket the prices there, or like out in Washington and that kind of stuff, or, yeah. or are they pretty cheap there too? Or do y'all even do yard sales? Is Who that just doesn't? a southern Who thing? Doesn't do. I also I think it's super important to price your stuff. It's nothing is more annoying than having to yell out, like hold something above your head and yell I out. Too bad. Well, you take for this, you know, like just put a slap. It doesn't matter if you, you know, write it on there. Just slap a number on it, okay? Now, are you a Jewer? Like, are you one that's like, I know this says it's five. You know cents, what it is? It depends it on two. the day. Okay. First day, you gotta you gotta buy what the ticket says. Second day, take heck, take half of it. <laughs> Memo B will sit there and scream out, whatever the ticket says, take half off. It's Why doesn't she just have a sign put out there that day? It just depends. No one reads signs. No one. No one will read a sign. You bet your butt no. Well, and, and I'm not saying this is like anything mean, but well, I don't know how to sp spell in, in uh, Spanish. So like... A oh my God! Of, Google Translate. Well, a, a lot of the Ask nice one of our people members. that come, I'm sure Grizel would translate. They for couldn't us. read my sign, anyways. I should do that, even though like my my handwriting in that would be absolutely hysterical. It's the same letters. No, Spanish is the same letters. It has no different alphabet. Are you kidding me? There's just enyes and stuff like that. The little wispy stuff yes, above the stuff. All of the letters are the exact same. Oh, I think I'd still embarrass myself somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> mm. But no, it depends on the day if I'll do the price or not. Uh, Kat said years ago, before it was the thing to do, I got awesome deals at garage sales. Now people are just trying to make cash and not just get rid of stuff. See, that's, th th again, it depends on the day. The first day, you got you got to buy it because it's good stuff. The second day, it's the junk. You just got to get it out of that. Take a quarter. We would also do these things. This is a Southern thing, too. Fill a bag for a dollar. <laughs> Everything you can fit in a bag. <laughs> Everything you can fit in an old food city bag is a dollar, you know? I love Piggly it. Piggly Wiggly bag is a dollar. <laughs> okay. Grizel, I don't need judgment. What does Grizel say? I, 
I don't know these things. My school did not offer Spanish. I would have taken Spanish in a heartbeat. My old, old school Is offered Grisel Latin. Is Griselle dying a little bit right Probably. now hearing this? Probably. I just, I can't, I don't know these things. I would have loved to learn Spanish, but it wasn't offered. I got to learn a stupid dead language. What was yours? Latin. Oh, oh. God. Although it is a lot of suffixes and roots and stuff that you... There's genders in there. It literally, it's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, I am actually in love with what this is doing to this wood. Well, it's what it's for. I mean, that's fantastic. Chris. <laughs> What'd she say? Rizal, just leave right now. Just leave the live. Save yourself. What'd she say? <laughs> she said, I am dying. <laughs> what do you mean, of course, they're the same letters? I wouldn't assume that. I mean... Spanish comes from Latin. Griselle, it's don't not tell me like that. it's Chinese where they have symbols or anything. No, I know that. Rachel, Julie I know teaches Latin. Julie, bless your heart. That you have seen, like signs in Spanish. I'm not paying for attention. And that kind I'm of not stuff. paying attention. I see wispies and 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 little things above letters and below letters, and I automatically just look away. I can't. It overwhelms me. The other thing is, honestly, a lot of Spanish words sound very similar to the American word. Not all of them, but there are several that's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am done with that. I'm going to let that one dry. Let's go back over to our terracotta and see if he's ready to be buffed. Speaking of genders, we have to give everything a gender around here. That, that pot's a boy. Anna just said that we'll see if he's ready. I'll do the same thing. I think everyone who's at least commenting has been here before, but if you happen to be new... We're so sorry. <laughs> number one, we're so sorry. <laughs> number two, um, subscribe. Number three... Like the video. Like the video. But those are all free ways to support us. Getting a membership's the best way. Um, links down below. Use the code FUN. Anna, what do they get with the membership? Me. And Rachel and Becca. Wow. And they Me. get <laughs> they get lots of free downloads, cut files, free education. Um, we have got a great support system um, over on our fa private Facebook page. It's called The Flock. Um, if you have any kinds of questions that you don't know the answers to, most of the time, it's going to be Kat. If, has an answer. Yeah, if me and Becca and Anna don't get to it as quick, usually a more knowledgeable crafter in that group will go ahead and answer it for you us. You also get free licensing to use our cut files for like in, for resale and all that kind of stuff. Um, and there's also stuff in the private Facebook group that is uh, member-only content. Um, and we just like to have a lot of fun. We do. We post stuff in the member-only page that's not necessarily even craft-related. It's just... Hey, I'm going through this. Please pray with me. Please be with me. Or, hey, I got a new grandbaby. It's just, mm -hmm. it's a fun because, family Because as group. soon as you get in there, it's like a family. Everybody wants to know what you're up to and, you know, how things are going. And you don't have to have a cricket. You don't have to have um, a sublimation printer. You don't have to just sew. You don't have to just do woodworking. There's so many avenues of crafting. And all we want to do is inspire you guys and lift you up every day, no matter what type of passions you have in the crafting world. And if you're looking for a community like that who loves to laugh and poke at each other and, and have fun, and uh, that's our love language is being mean to each other. And if you <laughs> resonate with that, you will love Oak and Lamb. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am actually kind of in love with this contrast. I love it. Love it. Griselle said much better look. It really is. It looks bougie now. It does look bougie. I mean as bougie as a terracotta pot can look. <laughs> um, Let's see. I don't know. I'm not going to plant this one until I do this. That's pretty much it's pr I mean I don't know how long this is going to take. What does the can say about like dry time? Let's see here. Cure time. First Gris aid. Griselle said, it's the best group ever. It is a family. Griselle, even though, 
even though I don't know the difference between English and Spanish, you still think it's a great group? I didn't offend you too much today. Um, they did um, suggest a cotton cloth, which is what we have. This is just three to five minutes and buff. Wow. So we're going to go for it. Buff it out. Buff it out. With the grain, once again. You can grain. layer this if you're wanting it to look even more milky. Um, and then also, after you sand it, if you're wanting more of a neutral brown undertone, just go ahead and put a different color stain on it and then go back and put your liming wax on that. See, you can see on the corners where I didn't sand quite as well, it doesn't take, and there's still a little bit of a shiny gloss, as well as it does up on the top. You know what? This is exactly what I needed to have done for my tabletop that Dad made. And I... I Stained the thing, went in, whitewashed it, then went back and dry brushed some stuff on it and sanded it and it gave it this same effect. Um, just and then, with like three extra steps. Yeah, and then dad finished it for me, but I could have literally just done this. Jan, that's sweet. She said, I only quilt, but I feel so plugged in with the Oakland Lamp community that I rarely even look at my other groups on Facebook. I mean, she might be a little biased because it's her babies, you know, but... But we're not the baby. You're not the baby. No, you're not. You are the twins, though. Old Freddy. Are you all ever going to do the uh, test to see if you're fraternal or identical? I don't know. Have you thought about it? Are you scared that you won't be identical? I think so. But why are you, you're twins. I don't know. I you're don't know. At the end of the day, you're twins. Nothing, it doesn't take away anything. Becca said she doesn't care one way or another. So well, it would so be my decision. If, I don't know. I have for 30, 30 years, I mean, I'm 37, but didn't even know about any of this before. Mm -hmm. Kind of thought about that. And every time it makes me want to vomit a little bit. Because if you guys didn't know, even fraternal twins can look pretty much identical you know well you Becca and I don't look alike anymore we looked a lot alike when we were little you don't a have to alike. see you know two kids that look super super different and be like oh they're totally fraternal uh but even twins that look a lot a lot can be fraternal I don't know do y'all think that we should do the test and then do the results on a live or something you would not that is super like personal Springer? no I would do it Becca and I wouldn't care would you do yes, it yes we do it <clears throat> I don't even know if that's something they care about. Mm. See, if I would have known that we could do, you know, well, never mind. I was, the Ogan Land wasn't even a thing back then, but I was going to say I would have teetotally opened up the results of Charlie's gender all up. Would you? Like 100%. Yeah. Well, I'll ask Becca. I'll ask her if she wants to do it. It is kind of pricey. Best of, well, it used to be. I don't know. I've not looked into it lately. Surely there's. I don't know. No, I mean, like, you can't just go to any hospital and have it done. But I know that there are kits. It may be, like, genetic testing kits something. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. If any of y'all know, let me know. Send me links or something. Mm -hmm. That is literally all I have for the day. So, I mean, okay. if people want to peace out or ask okay. questions or Let me whatever. Know if you guys have any questions for Anna or me or, you know, we can we can talk for Becca. I'm sure she would love that. Um, anything about our membership, you can get your first month for just nine ninety nine. That would be a great way to dip your toes in. If you're a little unsure, if you don't have a lot of money to invest or if you're, like, looking for a community and you've got a couple of memberships, which are, you know, just shopping around we're a really great option for you yeah and if you happen to have a cricket you happen to have one not a necessity but we have uh some free courses from opening your cricket in its box to mastering design space and everything in between we we love cricket content here as well as so many other things but uh yeah let me know if you have any questions about anything uh I'll what are the what are the people saying i'll switch to anna's pretty face oh yeah yeah, yeah it's so pretty Let's see here. I love the way you put your mic on today, Anna. Thank you for being so professional. What do you want from me, Rachel? What do you want from me? Mm. I don't think anyone cares what my microphone looks like. 
Fred would if he was here. Fred would. Beck has nothing on Anna's eye language. That is a diff. Oh my god. I think it's because Becca has more self control than I do. That's why that yes. That's why we make Anna number one, we we hide her behind us when we're in in public, public situations, situations when I know that she's gonna have a face or make a face, we're like, get behind us, Anna, just get behind us and shut up. Or on lives, we have to uh we have to just go with it. And that's why we make her do things that make her uncomfortable and that are crazy because her facial expressions are absolutely priceless. I, I think love if it. Becca's eyes were the same size as mine, you would probably notice her expressions <laughs> as much as mine too. That's another reason why I don't think we're identical. There's a couple reasons. Now, you all are still tweeting. It's literally all you'll know is if you're actually, I mean, it's not like w whenever you meet someone, you're like, hey, I'm Becca, hey, I'm Anna, whatever, we're twins. They're not like, oh, my God, identical or fraternal. Like, it's not like something that's asked all the time. It's just something that you can find out. Tracy, you need to do it so you could commit a crime and blame it on the other. Yeah, Our fingerprints are still not the same, though. <laughs> Whether we are identical or not. Uh, I thought if you were identical, they were. Even if you're identical? Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Google that. I want to Google G that. Google it right now. I have a plant question. We have a few plants in our office. The dirt seems really hard, like it doesn't absorb the water right away, and it is separated from the planter. Do we need to just replant? Megan, how long have they been in that specific plant uh, planter with the dirt? Um, a lot of times if it has separated, I mean, that is a super dry plant, and it may be that you need to go down and aerate it um, and kind of bust it up a little bit so that it starts absorbing. Sometimes when it gets too hard, it kind of turns into concrete, and it won't absorb. What's it say, Rachel? It says, well, the answer is no, you were right. But it says, like, due to environmental factors. So, like, through the year, through 37 years, you're in Becca's because you haven't done the exact, you haven't touched every single, like, you're just not going to have the same fingerprints just because of. Well, half of mine are eaten off from bleach, if we're being honest. Mm, I don't think that. Anybody could fingerprint me. Do you know they had to fingerprint me like 17 times when I got my gun care permit because they could not get fingerprints off of me? My um, friend Candy, that's also a hairstylist, they had to do the same thing with it, her. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But they were like, it's not going to register. And I'm like, well, I, I've done all the school. I've paid you. I'm like, you're going to have to get my <laughs> fingerprints, dude. They have been in the planter since early summer. That's really not that long time. Just try to take something down and poke it and aerate it and loosen that dirt up, then water it really good and see if that helps. If not, then just replant it in some new soil. You heard it here first. Monarch guys. butterflies to release. I need to start. Oh, man, milkweed seeds. Okay, so those of you that are into plants, um, I have never started anything from seeds ever. I did get... Um, Oh, God, what did I get? Zinnias and um, what is the shepherd's or bells of Ireland? I got bells of Ireland seeds and I got this one thing. I think it's called a hyacinth pea or I think it's a hyacinth pea. My mama had it and it's not actually a very pretty plant, but the bloom on it looks like this little tiny purple pea pod. And she had them hanging on her front porch the entire time we were growing up. So it's more of a sentimental thing, but we're both wanting, Beck and I are both wanting to start that. At what point should we plant and start that? Um, I, definitely we could start it inside, but we're gonna have to have a grow light um, or have you found it better just to wait until spring and start them outside? Let me know. Let me know. Crystal said, Anna is like the friend that you know you can't make eye contact with in a sticky situation because it'll make you lose the little bit of control you're trying to keep. <laughs> yes. yes. Listen, I really try to be mature and being an adult, but once something tickles me the wrong way, I'm a goner. Or, or Anna, flip it or when I'm you're pissed. pissed about something. That eyebrow goes up, and I'm like, somebody get her out of here because her her face is saying enough words. Get her out of here. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Most of the time, well, I'm not even going to say that. 
I just am very passionate about how I feel. <laughs> and that probably has a lot to do with my highs and lows emotions when, <laughs> when I was younger. I am either very, very, very happy or very, very, very mad or very, very, very sad. And now that my emotions and everything are slightly more contained, it is easier on me emotionally mm -hmm. and those around me. Thank God it's easier for my husband. Let's just say that. <laughs> I love Mark. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So there's this guy named um, Dylan White. What's his last name? Um, Becca follows him on Instagram. He is an attorney that is absolutely hysterical. Y let me find him. Y'all need to go follow him. He holds, he, he'll go get coffee from like Starbucks, yes. right? but he has these mugs in his car and they literally say world's best mom or auntie or stuff like that. And Dylan he pours Michael White, D-I-L-L-O-N Michael White. Um, he's hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. But today, like he poured his coffee into, um, the coffee cup looks like a uh, prescription bottle. Absolutely hysterical. But anyway, so he was talking about how um, if he's dead, these are like the reasons that he, he is dead. And his wife's super smart. So if he goes missing to look in every river and go to all the concrete stores because he'll have like concrete shoes at the bottom of a river. Anyway, so how this started, he said... I'm going to tell you the five reasons I'm dead if I'm dead. Number one, um, I was thirsty, so I gulped some water last time. And my, wall, my wife heard me gulp the water. Number two, um, something about I was trying to rub her back because she, um, like they've got kids or whatever. And she's like, I be, I'm touched all the time. I am overtouched. Do not touch me. Number three, <laughs> my throat was um, still uh, dry or something, so I decided to put a cough drop in. And she said, if I hear that cling your teeth one more time, I'm going to murder you. And all this. And then the final one was, and this morning when she woke up and I went to go make breakfast, she said, we better have cinnamon rolls. And he's in his car outside of the grocery store, and he said, so I'm going to get cinnamon rolls. So I'm going <laughs> to get cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but he's absolutely hysterical, and I'm like, his wife is me, and he is Mark Lamb. Yes. yes. If, this is hysterical. Last night I was putting Chapman down, and I normally do his, his bedtime stuff because I just love to look at his little face and his eyes when he's sleeping and just pray over him. And um, he, <laughs> Mark, while I'm doing that, will try to go and get a Popsicle or something and have it finished by the time I come to bed. <laughs> So that I don't have to hear it. <laughs> so last night I walked in and I said, you better be finishing that up real soon, Mark Lammy. He said, oh, I am. <laughs> That's God, God love his I heart. Love he said, he, this is what he says. He said, man can't even enjoy a popsicle in his own bed. <laughs> man can't even enjoy a popsicle in his own bed. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Love is hard. He's so persecuted. I think it's hysterical. Oh, my goodness. I love Mark. I swear. And Wayne. Good grief. <sighs> Let's see. Got to run get my sick kid. We have two girl, little girl lights and a soil tester for watering. What's this? Oh, a soil tester. So do you... The soil tester, do you put in, like, what the plant is? Because I know some like drier soil than others. So does that tell you specifically how much water each type of plant likes? Poor Mark. I know. The man is a saint, Mom. He, mm, he really is. Him and Wayne both. You, you know, I got to tell you, Jason is also a saint. I mean... I think we have three of the most go with the flow men in the world. Thank God. For I mean, them. Jason is top. I mean, he is way more go with the flow than Mark and Lamb. Uh, Mark and Lamb. <laughs> Mark and Wayne. Um, and but they are Mark and Wayne are like do whatever. Literally, yeah. if you came up to them and were like, "Will you help me move every piece of furniture in my house and dust?" They'd say yes. They have like a perfect me. stranger. They, they, yeah. Like if every one of you did it, they would say yes. They are servants. They are mm -hmm. so willing mm -hmm. to help anyone mm -hmm. in need. But Jason is even more. 
like nothing phases him. No. Mark has his moments like in traffic or waiting in line or like if kids are being real rambunctious where he can like spaz out a little bit. Nothing no, phases Jason. No. I try Nothing. so hard to ruffle his feathers. We have played pranks. We have been mean. I will try to drink his Coke Zeros, hide stuff from him. Nothing. Becca has poured marinade into his Copenhagen. That Nothing. Nothing. He said, oh, I just thought it was a new flavor. Listen, the man, you can't. You can't. And he, I swear he's not taking any medication for that. That's just him. That's just Scott funny. is the same exact way. Well, and Daddy is too. I mean, Dad typically has more of an opinion on things, but that man literally will stop in the middle of the road to go help someone pick up, I, I don't even, gravel, for crying out loud. Like, he is Listen, so, so, you, so helpful. You, you got a great man. Becca's got a great man. Oh, yeah. And... And this isn't saying anything. This is just this is just me and my heart. And I'm I'm sorry if anyone's watching and it offends them. Sorry about it. But meeting Becca and Anna and just being invited to the family functions and getting to know their family in the way that they the way that they are may made me check the standards I had for myself. It did. Now, now there was a plethora of reasons that I would n will never get into on the internet why my first marriage did not work out, but it, it, it's all about who you surround yourself with in your life, and it's not like I didn't have other reasons, but seeing the way that these men are stewards for the Lord and love their wives and the, the people that surround you really do make it. And I'm not saying that my parents aren't a great example or that I was, I didn't have an example growing up. I'm not saying that at all. I had a great, great childhood. But when your best friends go, like found these men that you're like, well, this is the last, these are the last two on earth. Like they're, they're I, they'll never be a man like that. There's, there's just no more of them. It's just not true. Like it's just not true. You, you, it's just interesting to me, and this is this is my thing. I want to raise Chapman, and I pray. When I pray for him, I'm like, Lord, help him be helpful. Let him be lovable. Let him be your steward, like your servant. Because, and here's, here's the other thing. Becca and I are strong, opinionated women. We are not saying that that is healthy in every way. We 100% know that there are problems with with certain aspects of it um, that we deal with. So please don't by any means think that we think that we've got it all figured out and that we just tell our husbands what to do and blah, blah, blah. We know that there's growth that needs to happen. But everyone in our circle, like Alan Welch, his son Nick, um, my godbrother Casey, like all of the men in our circle from our church, they just naturally love their wives they serve them. They, I, I don't know. It's just like they really just know how to show Jesus and say, I'm, I'm anything that I can do to help you, I'm going to do. And I think you're either born that way. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the secret is. I really don't. I just want Chapman to be helpful and yeah. lovable, but not be taken advantage of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. And that was a really big rabbit trail. Hey, I don't hey, even know listen, how we got there. So listen, sorry. I'm we, just speaking. I'm just talking to y'all. Well, as parent and you guys, most of you guys that are watching have been through like the adulthood stages of parenthood. Like you've raised kids. You've probably got grandkids now. But for us, we all have littles. Like all we want is for our babies to grow up and be, you know, good, godly uh, members of society. And and it's, you know, and for, for Anna and Becca – they have an added prayer because we've got some genetics working yes, against us. Yes, because their genes are different, and that is in no way a bad thing. It's just a thing like you can't say, "I hope you get this from me and this from Mark." It's in their DNA, you know. We, we just, we just, you know, raising babies is, is no is no small thing, and you know, it's hard every day. They're growing and they're changing, they're learning, and. It's hard, but it's the best thing in the world, you know? Best thing ever. Do you ever argue? Who are, who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, who are you talking uh, about? But Oak and Lamb is very, 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 very family-oriented. I mean, family is tip-top, uh, utmost priority 
you know, friends and family are everything to us. And, you know, we do, we consider all of you our friends. Absolutely we do. And we're thankful for you. Without you guys, we couldn't do this. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and assume you're talking about, like, us with our husbands and that kind of stuff and say, yes, we, we do argue. Um, we do not argue near as much as before we got our emotions and hormones taken care of. I, and guys, I'm telling you, I don't say that lightly. I mean, I talk about being on Prozac and that kind of stuff. It has completely, completely changed my life. It has changed my marriage. It has changed my friendships. Um, mental, mental health is not, I, I really feel like it's a taboo thing. Like people are afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to admit that something is chemically wrong or uh, hormonally wrong or something like that. It is insane the difference that your thought process even is. Like you love yourself more or, and you can just let things go. Um, but uh, honestly, Mark and I didn't fight before. I just yelled. He wouldn't say anything. He'd just sit there and take it. I, literally a saint. I'm being super vulnerable right now. There are times that I look back and remember, and I'm like, there is no way that man should still be with me. Like, literally a little bit psychotic on some stuff. Um, That's why God put you together, though. It is. The man still go with the and flow. I don't, say, I don't say that lightly. He literally, if he was not so passive, would probably have smothered me with a pillow and put concrete shoes on me a long time ago. Um, but thankfully that it's not like that anymore. Thank God. Yeah. I, I mean, I literally hated myself during the middle of those. I'd, I'd be, and I don't say it and I don't say it and it would just come out. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, now I, I can control yeah. that more. Um, uh, I was lucky enough to meet Jason at a time when I had my mental problems very much together. Um, we, we don't now we're, su we should still super new. We really don't fight day to day. Now, James did not get the best version of me. Point blank, period. James did not get the version of me. I didn't want to be around me sometimes um, throughout my first marriage with James. It's, I mean, my emotions were over there. His emotions were everywhere. We we were not, you know. we God put us together to do one incredible thing, and that is that is my son and if we hadn't got married we wouldn't have had Charlie because that was not what I believed was right back then so I uh, you know it, it all had to happen it all happened for a phenomenal reason I would do it a million times over but James did not get a good me Jason thankfully for you know for him and for me <laughs> he got a pretty good Rachel so far <laughs> we'll see what the future holds but I swear I cannot ruffle the man's feathers. <laughs> I can't. It's Becca's uh, personal mission in life Watch to, him end to up piss being him the off. the crabbiest old man ever. <laughs> I think the man has been an old man since he was born. He he's is just, totally an old man. He's just an old man. <laughs> just sits there. Literally, we hadn't known this man for any time at all. The man will sit in his recliner in his underwear <laughs> watching TV. Doesn't matter who was around. No. You know, it's hysterical. The man is sure of himself. Well, honest to God, he he's just sitting there. You hand him a screaming, crazy screaming baby. He'll just sit there and pet him. Oh, okay. he like doesn't it's hear. nothing. He I'm like, how do you do that? You want to turn out. Blippi on volume 100 and you got toddlers running around. and it, He doesn't care. He can do it. He don't care. Uh, Scott, it's only by God's grace. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Um, yeah. Well, do we have any other questions? This turned into a little uh, I know, TED that was talk. Totally. Sorry. Little TED talk. Plants and. Plants and. Plants and Prozac. Prozac. Oh, that's a good title. Oh, yeah. I'll just go ahead and edit the title right now. Plants and Prozac. It might plants, not do too bad. Plants, planters, and Prozac. Hey, we'll, we'll give it a try. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for being here and let us spew and yeah, yeah. be vulnerable and you all still love us yeah. and. This was fantastic. I had so much fun with you all today. Yeah. It wasn't a traditional craft, but. Yeah. Hey, I love I mean, it, I love plants. It's good I'm to sorry. mix it up over now and again. It's fantastic. And, uh, Becky and Anna are so uh, lucky as to get some time off from their lives, their busy lives, to enjoy uh, Florida with one of, well, you guys have met Julie. I don't think we'll miss any lives, though. Thursday. Uh, oh, yeah. We will miss Thursday. That's and true. And Tuesday. 
We'll be back Monday. Oh, will you? Okay, so just well, Thursday. No, I I have to make up Monday at work though. So Becca, Becca should be back Tuesday. On two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I the only live we'll be missing is Thursday. Uh, we'll have some content for you, some pre recorded content for you as usual next week. Uh, we'll have our live Tuesday, and we'll have a better schedule rundown for you all. But uh, through through them having a little a little vacay, thank you so much for being uh, lenient and flexible with us and with our schedule. We appreciate you guys and your support. More than anything. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. <laughs>